Hello and welcome back. All right, I wanted to introduce, moving forward in our lessons, I'm gonna start doing them in three parts. The first part is gonna be like a little warm up where I'm gonna do some hand signs and sing and you can be my echo. Jack and Thomas can be my echo and then you can be my echo along with them. So that'll be the first part. Second part, we'll have our main part of the lesson. And then the third part, is we'll do a little music writing and it'll be just one little thing each week. So if we practice these skills every, you know, about every week or every other week, then we can keep them up and we'll keep our ears sharp and I think we'll do well. Okay, so starting with the first part, the <coughs> Be My Echo part. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna sing just a couple of little notes and then you guys sing it back to me. Okay, ready? Yeah. So, Wait, Sorry. you gotta be my echo. That means when, when I sing, you listen. Yes. Okay, ready? So me, so me, so me, so me, so la, so me, so la, so me, so me, do, so me, do. Good, good. Nice and easy, huh? Well, well, we'll be adding to that. We'll make them a little bit more challenging each time. You guys did a good job. Okay, so our lesson today, we've been working with Mouse Mousy. And can you guys kind of move that way a little bit so that people can see? I have it up here. This is where we worked with it on the staff. And so we first started singing Mouse Mousy in this key. And we put it on the staff there. But then I showed that we can move our so, me, and do from being on spaces to being on lines. And so we sang the song here. Mouse, mousey, in the housey. And so we have the same song, but our so, me, do were on these lines. So it looked a little bit different on the staff. Okay, I finally got a good gigantic Sharpie that <laughs> I can write on here with. I've never seen such a huge Sharpie, but I think it'll do a good job. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do it in a different place on the staff. So we're actually going to put, so here we have it on these lines where we have so, me, and do, these three middle lines. But now we're gonna start our so, here. So I'm going to write so, and then our me is going to be here on the bottom line. And then you might be thinking to yourself, where are we going to put our dough? So we're going to figure that out. So if I'm going to just do the first part of the song, if I'm going to go from doing mouse mousey here, yeah, but I'm going to change it up. I'm gonna make it a lot lower. So my so is gonna be here. Mouse, mousey, in the housey. It's gonna be so, me, do. So I'll write the first part where we have our, our so, with my gigantic <coughs> marker. Here's our so. We're gonna have the line go up because we, we try to keep the lines on the staff as much as possible so they're not sticking way out on the top or the bottom. So there's our so. Where's our me gonna go, Thomas? Can you point? There. Yep, the bottom line. Okay. Now our dough. Our dough, it needs to go on a line, doesn't it? It needs to go on a line, but we don't have any more lines. Well, what you do is you add what's called a ledger line. You're not gonna add a whole line across. The staff needs to always have those five lines. So you're just gonna make a little line. So you'll draw a little line here. This is called a ledger line. And I'll try to zoom the camera in in just a moment. And then you write your note on the ledger line. Now you don't wanna cover up the whole line so that you can't see it anymore. You need to see that there's a line and it has about the same spacing, but it's just a little line. And, and so, yeah, and it's the same thing when it's above the staff. 
And you could do the same thing above. Like if we made our song go really high and we ran out of space, <coughs> we could draw another little line up there, a little ledger line. Okay, and then I'll make my little, so there we go. And I'm gonna label, this is our dough, there's our D. Okay, just to make sure that you can see it. I'm gonna bring it in close. Okay. Oh, I'm not showing you the right one. So there is our little ledger line. Okay. Oh, and I didn't make it an eighth note because we have a quarter note and then we have an eighth note. So if we wanted to sing mouse mousey in a lower sound, we would do it here with our so me do so so me do and our do would be this little line below okay so i told you our third part i try to crouch down so i'm back in the camera our third part of our lesson is going to be writing in our music notebook so i'll hold this up here so last time you wrote your so and your me and your do in this key so that you wrote them on spaces. So you wrote it on one, two, three spaces up is where you did your so. The second space up is your me, and the very first space is your do. So this time we're gonna practice writing a little ledger line. So when you start your so, you're gonna start it on climbing the ladder, the second space up. What's the first space? What's that gonna be, guys? Me. That's our me, mm -hmm. and then you can practice drawing a little ledger line for your dough. So it's just a little short line and then color your note. Just make sure you don't cover it up all the way. We need to see that that is a line. Okay, thank you very much. And when you come back and join us next time, we're gonna be doing a couple of old songs that you probably will remember and a new song. Thank you. <laughs>